In this video, I'll be working through the percentages worksheet using the dual number line, so this thing here, to answer the percentage problems. So let's start with question one. A thunder day at a given location is a calendar day on which the thunder is heard at least once. About 20% of days near Darwin are thunder days. How many days in one month, or 30 days, would you expect to be thunder days? Right, so let's put together our dual number lines. So here goes, it's not really horizontal. Let's try that again. There, there, and there. All right, so remember that can be quite rough. All right, now 100, we'll go here. Zero, we'll go here. And now what I'll do is look at the question again and work out what I've got. So 20% of the days near Darwin are Thunder Days. So I'm going to put that down. That's 20% there. And how many days in one month would you expect to be Thunder Days? So 100% would be all of the days. That's 30 days. So what I'm after is 20%. That's what I'm after, the X. So remember at this point, what you want to do is use uh, arrows. You start at the unknown side. So in this case, it's going to be the right hand side and you start with a number. What we're going to do is take that number down to one and up to X. Right now we do the mirror image of those arrows. So down to there and up to there. Now over this side, what we do is divide by 100 to get down to one and then we multiply by 20. Similarly on this side, what we do is we just rewrite those same things. So divide by 100 and times by 20. And now we can say that X is found by doing 30 divided by 100. So we follow the arrow and then times 20. We pop that into the calculator. So we've got over here 30 uh, divided by 20. Where's divide? And uh, 30 divided by 100 rather. And then times 20. Oof. One more time. 30 divided by 100 and then times 20. Right, and the answer is six. All right, so that's how you use it for question one. All right, let's go to question two. Uh, so I'll select that and delete it. And let's go to question two. Okay, Wendy pays 42% of her weekly income on rent. If she pays 250 on rent each week, how much of, uh, is her income? Okay, so let's do our number line. So I'm just gonna draw this one a bit rougher. We've got 100 here and zero down the bottom. All right, what do we got? So 42% of her weekly income is rent. So let's mark in 42, just below 50. And $250 or 42% is $250 because that's 250 on rent. So we're gonna put the 250 there. So 42% is 250. How much is her weekly income? That's all of it, that's X. That's what's we're after, what, that is what we're after. Okay, so now let's draw our arrows in. So this time we're gonna start on the right hand side. And what we do is we always start with the number that we're given, so that's 250. So we're gonna take that down to one, and then climb back up to X. All right, we do the same thing with the arrows here. Take that down to one, climb back up to X. All right, now we write our numbers in, 42, divided by 42 is one, and then we times one by 100 to get there. Do the same thing on this side, divide 42 times 100. All right, let's go to our calc and work that out. Ooh, not yet, we'll write our statement out. So X is equal to, so here's X is equal to 250, start at this point here, divide by 42 and times by 100. Okay, so 250 divide by 42 and then times by, what was it, 100. Uh, round your answer to the nearest whole number. So $595. All right.
on to question three. Okay, so this one here. In Melbourne, 36% of adults use a telephone to pay bills and 8% use the internet. If there are 50 adults who need to pay a bill, how many will use the telephone and how many will use the internet? Let's do the telephone first. So this is going to work on the telephone. Okay, so 30, let's put 100 in first and zero. And we know that 36, which is roughly there, 36% uh, use the telephone and there's 50 adults who need to pay a bill. So that's all of the adults needing to pay a bill. Well, what we wanna find out is what 36% is. All right, so at this point, draw in our arrows, start on the right hand side, start with a number. 50 down to one, one up to X. Then we'll do arrows mirror it on this side. So 100 divided by 100 times 36. So this one's gonna be divided by 100 and times 36. So X is going to be 50 divided by 100 times 36. All right, over to the calc. What was it? 50 divided by 100 times 36. 18 is our answer. All right, so I'm not gonna do the 8% one because it'll be literally the same problem, except instead of it being 36%, it's gonna be 8% somewhere down here. And you'll do the same thing, except this time, what you'll do is divide by 100 and then times by eight. So that's the only change you'd make for that. So I'll leave that one to you. All right, let's do four. Okay, so question four. 60 students in year eight have seen all Harry Potter films. If there are 150 students in year eight, what percentage have seen all of the Harry Potter films. So note that we're looking for a percentage this time. So it's 100, 0%, and 60 students in year eight have seen all of Harry Potter films. So 150 students in year eight, that's all of them. So that's 100%. So we're after the percentage that 60 students make up. So 60 would be roughly there, so that's X. All right, so note that the unknown this time is on the left-hand side, so that's where we're gonna to start to draw our arrows. So we start at the number up to the unknown. Start there, up to there. All right, this is going to be divide by 150. This is going to be times 60. This is going to be divide 150. This is going to be times 60. All right, so X is equal to, and we just follow the arrow. 100 divided by 110 times 60. So it's uh, 100 divided by, I think that's 150. That should be 150. So 100 divided by 150 times 60, was it? Yeah. So the answer is 40. That sounds completely incorrect. All right, what's happened here? 100? No, that's right, yep, 40%. Okay, yep, completely correct, actually. All right, so it's saying that 60% of students have seen all the Harry Potter films, or this 60 students represents 40% uh, in total. All right, let's do question five. Uh, 300 students in year seven selected to complete a questionnaire on ice cream. 70% they said their favorite flavor was chocolate chip. How many favored chocolate chip ice cream? Okay, so 300 students in year seven represents all of them. 70% said chalk chip. So here's 70% and that's going to be the unknown. 
This is 0% down here. Start with the side with the X on it. Start with the number. 300 down to 1, 1 up to X. 100 down to 1, that up to 70. All right, so this one here is going to be divided by 100. This is going to be times 70. So it's going to be divided by 100 times 70. All right, X is equal to 300 divided by 100 times 70. All right, so I can do this in my head. 300 divided by 100 is 3. 3 times 70 is 210. All right, so feel free to do that on the calculator. That will tell you the same answer. Okay, next question. 2% of Australians play lawn bowls. In a group of 250 people, how many would you expect to play lawn bowls? So here's 2%, here's 100%, and here is 0%. The group is 250, so that's all of them. And we want to know what 2% is. Alrighty, so draw up your arrows. Start on the side with the unknown, start with a number. Down to 1, up to 2 down to one, up to two, a bit clumsy to draw. Okay, this is going to be divide by 100 times two, not 20, two. So this is going to be divide by 100 and times two. So X is equal to 250 divided by 100 times 2. Again, I can do this one in my head. That's going to be 2.5 doubled. The answer is 5. Again, feel free to do that on your calculator. So 5, expect to play lawn bowls. All right, question 7. Okay, so a survey showed that 20% of all people rated football as their favourite spectator sport. 35 people rated football as their favourite sport. How many people did the survey? So we know that 20% like football, and that's 35 people. 100% is all of the people that did the survey, and that's the unknown. All right, so unknown is on the right-hand side. So I'm going to start with the number, take it down to 1, and get to the unknown. Oops, wrong arrow. Start there, up there. Okay, so this is going to be divide by 20 times by 100. So we've got divide by 20 times 100. Keep writing the wrong thing. Mm. Okay, so x is equal to, uh, what is it? 35 divided by 20 uh, times 100. I uh, probably can't do that one in my head. 35 divided by 20 times 100. 175. So 175 people did the survey. All right. Almost there. Eight. William earns 560 per week. Last week he received a bonus of 70 bucks. What percentage is this of his weekly income? Okay, so 100% of his income is 560 bucks and his bonus is 70. So here's 560, I'm just gonna draw 70 roughly there and we wanna work out what percentage it is. Alrighty, so start with the side with the unknown which is in this case is the left hand side and start with a number down to one, up to X. Down to one, up to X. Divide by 560, it's getting repetitive, isn't it? Hopefully, that means you're kind of getting it. All right, so that's gonna be divide by 560 times by 70. X is equal to 100 divided by 560 times 70. Um, yeah, can't do that one in my head. 100 divided by 
560 times by 70, 12.5%. All right, so $70 represents 12.5% uh, of the income. All right, question nine. Okay, here we go. In Werberbia, 25% of all houses have access to the internet. If there are 16 houses in website street who have access to the internet how many site houses are there in the street okay so what we know is 25 percent have access to the internet and in this particular street 16 of them have access so 25 percent represents 16 houses 100 percent represents all of the houses which we don't know so Let's draw up our arrows. Right, so I need to get to X, so start with a number up to X. All right, so 25 down to one, up to 100. Uh, divide by 25, multiply by 100. So divide by 25 times 100. Okay, X is equal to 16 divide by 25 times by 100. Okay, um, 16 um, divide by 100, divide by 25 times 100, 64. So 64 houses are in the street. Right. Final problem. Okay, Daniel earns $500 per week. He spends 50 bucks on petrol, 70 bucks on rent, and 60 bucks on food. What percentage does Daniel spend on petrol, rent, and food? All right, so we've done problems like this already. So 100%, 0%. And what we wanna know is what percentage $50 is. All right, now I'm gonna do this one a little bit differently and see if you can pick up what I'm gonna do. So I could do each one of these separately, but what I'm gonna do is work out what percentage $10 is, all right? Not $50, not $70, and not $60, and I'll explain why in a sec. All right, so what I wanna do is I'm gonna put $10 over here, and all of it is 500, and we wanna work out what percentage $10 is. All right, so unknown on left side, start drawing your lines. So start with a number, down to one, up to X. There to there. Divide by 500 times 10. Divide by 500 times 10. Okay, now X is equal to um, 100 divide by 500 times 10. So that's gonna be a fifth of 10, that's gonna be two, all right? Um, and so that means it's 2%, all right? So our conclusion is $10 is 2%. All right, now percentages, um, we, we can change these percentages because they grow in proportion. So that means I know that $20 will be 4%. So if I go from there, I times two, times there, I times two. So now what I can do is get myself up to $50 by timesing 10 by five and the percentage by five. So I can say that $50 is 10%. Uh, that means $70 is um, so that's gonna be times by seven, and seven twos are 14. So that's gonna be 14%. And finally, $60 is, so times by six to get to $60, times by six, and we'll have 12%. All right, so that's a little trick that you can do there um, for that one, but feel free to just do this one separately with $50 first of all, 
and then $70 and then $60 and just do the dual number line three times. Hopefully you found this video helpful. Um, come and see me if you need some more assistance.